Hello, this is Anthony with Copley. Today we'll be discussing how to use CanView. So CanView is our free software. You can download it online at copycontrols.com uh, and then you can use it to create and also analyze can logs. So here uh, I have a customer who sent me this can log. He's using CMO with our Copley can card, can USB adapter. And uh, he's having some uh, issues with uh, sync messages, so we'll take a look at those. But here's just a raw can log that is created. So we have SDOs going back and forth, and we have sync messages, and that's what we want to look at. Or the uh, I'll look at the sync messages. So uh, first thing I like to do is uh, I like to define, I like to load the EDS files. So I can get nice descriptions so I don't have to look up all these objects. So what I'll do is I'll go to Tools, Network config. I'll right click into this white space, create new network. And then I will go to where I've saved the canopen.eds file. That's available on our website as well. And then here we go. We hear, hear all the uh, defined objects get loaded in the description. So we can see here is using. Uh, Setting the control word, it's the quick, quick stop option code, uh, as a PVT segment. So uh, let's go to the filter now, and I want to filter on the sync messages. So if we look at a sync message, it has a COB ID of 80. So I want to add, uh, yep, I'm going to go by the can message ID, which is the COB ID, this uh, center. Uh, column here, and then I want to do, uh, type in 80 for value. That gets ended with the mask, so I'll just say sync message messages. And if I type in A here and I hit apply, here are all the sync messages. Let's say I also wanted to filter on something else, so like. Uh, going to keep adding filters. So I wanted to filter also on an object ID. So let's say like a pretty standard one is 6040, which is the control word. Uh, then I would just type this uh, A or B hit apply. And now we have all the SDOs involving the control word as well as the sync messages. So uh, that's kind of how you, how you use the filter. There also has a nice help uh, button here so we can use um, and logic, or logic, not logic. And then you can also write expressions. Um, so parentheses for grouping. So it's a nice uh, feature. But okay, so let's get to the actual problem with the, that the customer had. So sync messages. And then I can look at the different, um, I can look at the different uh, timestamps. So here I'll see per sync message, they're about, they're exactly uh, 10 milliseconds apart. So looking here, we have 171 milliseconds. 161 milliseconds, 151. So I'm just going to keep track of that and make sure that they're not, uh, that they are equally spaced, that we're not seeing any issues. And so let's keep looking here. And right here, let's see. Oh, okay. So here is a here's a difference here. So ninety one eighty six. That is that's only uh, five milliseconds. And then this uh, eighty four eighty six is only two milliseconds. Like that's one point five milliseconds. So they've got most likely 
a uh, hardware configuration uh, problem. So can open protocol, especially when you're talking about sync messages, uh, it's defined in the hardware layer. So if you're getting uh, erroneous uh, sync times, then it's most likely due to uh, uh, master software error or uh, or uh, bad terminations. It's probably a hardware problem. So you want to check your terminations on each side of the CAN uh, connection. So if you put an ohm meter on your network, you should have 120 ohms resistance on the on the uh, transmit and receive lines across those two lines. Um, so we we have a terminating uh, jumper uh, inside of the CAN card. You have to make sure that jumper is connected. Uh, and then also we uh, we have we sell terminators as well that come with the CAN card. Um, you want to make sure that the out port at the end of your network on the drive has a terminator inside of it. Um, and yeah, that's how you would uh, debug a CAN log using CAN view. Um, hope this was helpful.